Hi guys, Selena here. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how to use our Find Us Lost presets in this tutorial and how I edit with them. First off, let me just say how excited I am to finally be sharing these with you. They are years in the making. I've been working on protect, uh, perfecting them ever since I learned how to use Lightroom. And it's such a great program. Uh, it's really what got me excited about photography again, and it definitely can do the same for you uh, along with these presets. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. We're going to be editing five photos uh, that you'll see down here today. And the only thing I've done so far is I've cropped them uh, so they're easy to edit. That's using this tool here. So I'll go ahead and show you. And if you click, um, I always choose four by five for Instagram and for my blog. That's what I use the most. And I adjusted the angle here since the photo is a little crooked and I hit enter and the photo is ready to go. Uh, so the first thing I do is I hover over on the left side to choose my favorite preset with this photo. And let's see here. I really like actually uh, the richness of the colors with Poisitano. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one. Uh, right away, I noticed it's a little bit too warm for my taste. Um, this is one of the first things I always check with a photo along with the colors and the exposure is temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that down. You'll notice it gets bluer or very gold if I play around with it. So it can really change the image. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. That looks pretty good to me. And I really want to make those whites pop, so I'm going to drag this up a little bit. Uh, this main panel is where I make most of my edits. So I'm just going to make slight adjustments here, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're done with that image. Here's the before and after. The next image was taken in the Cook Islands. It's this one here. And you'll have a lot of options here to bring out the blues. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over and see what looks the best to me. Uh, just because it's named the Europe Collection and the Greek Islands Collection doesn't mean it works just for those places. It's really just where I was inspired and where I created the presets. And uh, I really like actually how Noxus looks for this. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. This blue sky is really dramatic. Um, so I'm going to leave that as is, but I actually want to brighten the whites even more. I like doing that for tropical places. And uh, the thing about this image is there's people in it. So let's go ahead and get rid of those people. If I click on here, it'll zoom up. And this tool is one of my favorite to use in Lightroom. Uh, it's the spot removal tool. So if you hover over, click on the brush, you can adjust the size. And I'm just gonna literally slide over here and just remove this person. Uh, Lightroom guesses, sometimes I don't like how they guess, so I'll choose the best spot to pull from to replace that part of the image. And that looks pretty good. Clicking again for this person. And I'm happy with that. This dialogue will show where you are zoomed into the image, so I'm gonna go ahead and Say I'm done. Let's look at the before and after. Looks pretty good to me. All right, the next image is taken in the Cotswolds. And the image is a little dark. It was actually taken around 5 p.m. and it was really rainy that day. So I really want to brighten it up. I'm just gonna choose something that helps bring out the color of those old buildings. Actually, let's choose Cotswolds since we have a Cotswolds preset. Um, off the bat, again, I'm going to adjust temperature since it looks a little too gold for me. And you'll notice that changes it a lot. Uh, it actually got me almost all the way there. kind of want to lift the blacks even more just to make this image a little bit bright. Um, if I wanted to adjust the sky, the highlights will do that. Uh, if I drag it down, it looks too radiant, rainy and moody, so I'm actually going to keep it dragged up. And the one thing I don't like about this image, too, is the trash cans. Um, I could play around with this tool, but I'm actually going to go ahead and show you how to use the brush tool. So I'll zoom in here. If I click on this, it creates a new dialog box for me where I can adjust things like saturation, contrast, etc. It's great for bringing out specific parts of your image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it now just to get rid of the saturation in these since I just feel like that's what's standing out to me. If you click here, you'll notice this is what I actually am adjusting. So the red indicates where the brush is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drag down the exposure a little bit so those are kind of darkened and get rid of the saturation. So at least I won't even notice these as much anymore. That looks pretty good. Let's hit done, and I'm gonna zoom out again. Great, my eye does not go to those anymore. And here's the before and after of that image. Uh, the next one is not something you usually see on our Instagram. It's a friend of mine uh, in Greece with me, and I just wanna show you how these work with portraits too, or closer up images. So I'm gonna hover over and choose something. Uh, a lot of the Greek islands collections work or the, excuse me, the Greek Islands collection works really well for the beach, but you can always choose something else here. I like the gold of that. Uh, let's go ahead and choose something bright though. That's a good one. And uh, something I wanna show you is 
I also adjust color a lot. Um, so I'm gonna show you the color panel. You scroll down here. This indicates hue, saturation, luminance. So you can adjust that for any color. So my skin tone tends to be on the orange side. So if I come in here, for example, I can make myself really tan or I can brighten myself up. Uh, and that's really an easy way to change your image a lot if you want to stand out um, or if you want to play around with the sky I can come here and adjust the blue. That actually looks pretty nice. So I'm going to say I'm done with that image as well. Here's the before on the left and the after. And then the very last image here, I uh, was taking on the streets in Greece. I'm gonna choose my favorite preset. Hmm, so many directions I could go. I don't wanna choose the Greek islands again since we've used that so much. So let's choose Austria. It looks a little too bright for me. Um, so I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna say I really like the colors, but I could probably drag the exposure down. The sky was actually blown out up here, so that fixes that. And I can adjust the blacks and the shadows this way. It has a nice wash over it. I almost wanna drag the whites down even more to make the wash more apparent. Uh, and I really like how that looks, but the red of the flowers is too much. So again, I'm gonna come down to the color panel. Like I said, I use this a lot. And I'm gonna actually drag down the saturation and drag up the luminance to bring out the flowers. They almost look pink now instead of red. And I really like that. Uh, so here's the before and after of that image. And that is it. We're done. Uh, so thanks so much for watching uh, this tutorial. Like I said, I'm really excited you're here. I really think this is going to change your images and it's going to make it so easy for you to edit. Uh, but if you do have questions, I'm always available. Just email me. Um, please use my presets email. It's finduslostpresets at gmail.com. Um, if you can't find something online and you're just struggling with how to use these presets, I'm always available and I will do my best to answer you as soon as possible. Uh, and if you are happy, I would love if you use our hashtag find us lost presets if you're posting any of the images you use with our presets on instagram i will be checking that daily and i will probably be posting photos weekly um, of people using our presets so i'm really excited to be sharing them finally with you thanks so much for watching